Hello, hello, lovelies. How are you doing today? How are you holding up? Are you safe? Do you feel okay? Uh, I notice I've been doing that check-in a lot more lately. But I think we need it this year. Particularly this year. It's been a rough time. I've been feeling that anyway. And that's why today we're hanging out in my bed. I'm still in my jammies. This is, after all, 2020 fashion. The height of 2020 fashion. Although they are kind of fashionable, actually. The pants have like leopards, so animal print. <laughs> That's fashionable, right? I don't know anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, so the reason I am making this video today is, well, a couple reasons. Okay, first off, this has been an absolute garbage year. And I want to put something out into the world that's, you know, fun, maybe a little therapeutic, possibly a little, you know, educational, if nothing else, entertaining. And for that reason, I am revisiting a trend that is probably long since dead. But if you've been with this channel for a hot minute, you know that's exactly when I take on challenges and pick up trends. When everybody else has done them and they're no longer trending and nobody cares about them anymore. That's my time to shine. <laughs> okay, so what is this trend? You're probably wondering. Although you've probably already read the title of this, so you might not even be wondering. Wreck this journal. Do you remember when people used to do these and share them? Yeah. I used to love series on different arts and whatever channels where people would get one of these books and then work through them and share their progress and um, maybe do even like little how-tos, step-by-steps, how they created pages. Uh, I found that really inspiring and helped me figure out where I wanted to take some of the pages that stumped me. And I realized that nobody is probably working on these books anymore. Although, I highly recommend them. I love journals that have some sort of a prompt, whether it's a writing prompt, an art prompt. Um, I find when I need to journal the most is when I struggle the most with it because I'm so overwhelmed by everything, I just don't even know where to start. So if I have a prompt, that gives me like a jumping off point. And that's why I will highly recommend, not this journal, I'm not sponsored, it's just something I love. Um, but I will highly recommend any journal that has a prompt. I find those to be very helpful, especially when you're stuck. So if you didn't get on the bandwagon when the bandwagon was going, and you kind of thought maybe you wanted to, why not? I think you can still get the books. And there's a whole bunch of them now. This is, this is the original cover, or, well, my version of the original cover. Um, it's actually pretty nice, if I do say so myself. I used some construction paper and duct tape and wrote with Sharpies and a gold or a silver pen. I know my colors. <laughs> so I had to, well, I didn't really have to, but I wanted to remake what the original cover looked like because mine doesn't look like that anymore. I started working on my Wreck This Journal back in 2014. So I've had this book for a long time, six years. And I have been filming clips. I think it was about 2016 that I started filming clips. I started actually seeing a lot of videos about this journal. And I was inspired to make my own video series. So I started filming clips, but then I didn't do anything with them. Um, I struggle hardcore with commitment. <laughs> Even the tiniest little commitment. Committing to what I want to pick off a menu. Um, committing to going ahead with a video series. So 
I, even though I was filming clips with the intention of making a whole video series, I didn't commit to turning those clips into an actual video until after I had already decorated my cover. I created this so that I could show you what the cover used to look like and pretend right now like, this is my brand new book, and I'm just getting started because this is the first video in the series. Well, technically the second, because I've already posted the trace things from your bag or your pocket that came out of this book when I did a What's in My Bag, another late to the party trend video. Um, I'll post that somewhere up there in a card and link it down below, and you'll be able to see it in the Wreck This Journal playlist which I'm going to be starting now that there's going to be two videos in it and more to come. That was the other thing that prevented me. So many people started their Wreck This Journal video series and never finished. That was a big trend. <laughs> starting the series and then just letting it die when they got tired of it. And I get that. It's a long process. I started filming these in 2016, so I've been working on this for four years. Um, if I had been trying to put out videos as I was making it. Four years is a long time. I don't think anybody would still care. So I, I get why, you know, interest wanes after a while. And that's part of the reason as well why I've held off posting my video series. Because I kind of wanted the whole series to be done before I posted. I wanted to be one of those few YouTubers who finished the whole thing. Um, that's, I'm a perfectionist. So I like to, I like to do things perfect. <laughs> Completely perfect. To my detriment. Very often. And so part of the reason I missed the trend is because I wanted to, I didn't want to be one of those people, no offense to those people who did, but I didn't, I didn't want to start the series and then let it drop. I've already done that I don't know how many times. Once I put my videos out they're pretty much out. My babies fly the nest. They're gone. They're grown up. Um, I don't really go back and revisit videos but I'm pretty sure that I've mentioned that I was thinking of doing something in a video and then totally forgot about it and it never happened. And I didn't want this to be another one of those. I wanted this series to be finished this video is finally seeing the light of day because I have all the other videos. They're in the can, they're ready to go, and I'm thinking every week I'm going to post a video. So yay, I'm going to be one of those YouTubers too, who posts regularly every week. And yeah, I wasn't joking when I said that there's a lot to do in these journals. Um, this one is now done, and yeah, it's pretty full. And depending on how many prompts you do per video, you can stretch this out. I've got 15? I think there's 15 more videos. I'm like set for one video a week in <laughs> for the rest of this year, right on into the new year. Which feels really good. I feel so accomplished now. I like this feeling. Yeah, I don't, just don't, don't, don't get, <laughs> I, I don't want to set the bar too high though, even though I have, you know, 15 more videos ready to go, and I'm going to be like, you know, weekly, consistent, for a very long time, um, there's no guarantee that that's going to continue indefinitely, but I can't guarantee that this is going to be consistent, I can't guarantee that I'm going to stick with this long term because, yeah, um, life happens, and I struggle with mental health issues. Everybody has mental health. I struggle specifically with diagnosed mental illnesses. And that, um, yeah, that really kills motivation, productivity, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm happy that it, for at least a little bit I'm going to be able to get a taste of what it's like to be 
a YouTuber. And hopefully, hopefully this sets some, you know, some good habits and and I can keep going, but if not, you know, that's okay too. We're just gonna stop blabbering. <laughs> I've mentioned themes, I think. If not, I just did. <laughs> because what I've done to organize my prompts is put them into themes. So in every video from here on out, there's some sort of theme that ties all the videos together. And you'll know what they are with each video. Today's video, because I'm not just blabbering about doing this, I'm actually going to jump in and show you a bunch of prompts that I accomplished. And because I have explained to you the meaning of why I want to do this, and why I want to do this now, I'm going to share with you the prompts that either had some meaning themselves or the, the artwork, the creative, whatever, whatever came out of the prompt, either the prompt itself or whatever came out of the prompt has some sort of meaning for me. And so I have dubbed this theme with meaning. One of them I would like to share with you right now before we jump in. I probably should have put a bookmark in here, but that's okay. Ah, here we go. Oh, I did have a bookmark in here. Hmm. The first page I'm going to share with you is well, are these two. So, as you can see here, I have a sort of a replica. Not exact, though. Um, the colors are a little bit different. But I have a replica of what I did on the cover, as you can see here. One of the prompts was to decorate the cover. So I cut little squares of just interesting images. They're like Christmas decorations and smoke, and I think that was like a cookie. And I just kind of collaged them on, covered it in Mod Podge. I added a sticker because I did something with this book and ripped some of the Mod Podge off. So we got a sticker edition. Um, there's some duct tape framing my beautiful collage. And on this side, it's all like purples. This purple's my favorite color. And then on the back, I did the same kind of thing with like orange and lime green and pink are sort of the themes of this color. Same thing, I threw some food stickers on because I can't remember what I did, but I did something to the book that ripped off some of the Mod Podge. So I put stickers, I have green, duct tape. Yeah, so that's why I decorated the cover similarly to how I decorated the actual cover. And then this prompt says, close the journal, write slash scribble something on the edge. So it says, and I, I wrote this way back before it got big. But again, with my reluctance to commit to filming videos, um, I didn't film that part when you could still read it. But you can kind of still make it out. It says, art speaks when words, that's supposed to be an R, unable to explain. You can kind of see it still. And then if we go back to the page that I took the bookmark out of, <laughs> uh, there it is. So there I rewrote in the same colors that I used on the actual margins. That's something that I've always found to be the truth. Um, I have always found art to be very expressive, whether it's drawing, um, music. I have always struggled to explain uh, what's in my head, how I'm feeling. So that's that page. And then on this side, I have a whole bunch of things that, again, are just kind of meaningful. Um, 
this was a blank page and I didn't want to leave any blank pages. This is sort of a time capsule of where I was at and what I was going through. and um, So I, I want to hang on to this book. And so I don't have any blank pages. I have filled everything. And on some of the blank pages, what I've done is just hang on to things. Most of the things in here have some sort of a meaning. So, speaking of things with a meaning, before I ramble on forever, Let's go check out the other prompts that have a meaning. The prompt here was to write with the pen in your mouth. I could not film that because in order to get the writing, I had to get really close to the book and there was no room to get a camera in there. But this is what it looks like. All shaky and surprisingly legible though. I chose the quote, Music says the words, we're too afraid to speak out loud. Because for me, that is the truth. Music has always been my way of saying what I can't in words. Sometimes, what I don't even realize I'm feeling until someone sings it. And I just added some color over here and some uh, music notes. And then this little bar of sheet music, which I actually... I don't know if it's correct because I googled it, but I believe it was from an actual piece of sheet music for a particular song. And this side, I drew a mouth with a pen in it to illustrate what I had done. And then using a whole bunch of different lipsticks, I didn't realize I had so many lipsticks and colored um, chapsticks, but I used those and kissed the page. Never have my, my lips been so dry than after doing this one, because I did it all in one go, smacked on a color, smacked it on the book, wiped it off, put on another color. Oh, washed my lips so many times they were dry. But the results are fantastic. I think that looks really nice. And then I threw in some music notes on that side to bring the whole thing together, mod podged it to protect it, and there you have it. The challenge for this page was to do a really ugly drawing and it suggests using ugly subject matter like gum, poo, dead things, a badly drawn bird, mold, barf, and crud. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so the inspiration, I started with the gum. So here's just a plain tube-like square of pink gum. Uh, and then for the poo, I drew a poop emoji and then a goofy-faced, ugly green poop emoji. I combined the dead things and badly drawn bird to draw a badly drawn dead bird. And then for the barf, I took this fella. I believe he's from a meme where he's like vomiting uh, rainbows, but rainbows are pretty. So I drew the stick figure and have him puking actual barf. And then I thought, hmm, what else do I think is ugly? So I also have an empty coffee can. Uh, no coffee would be very bad. Same with an empty wine glass. After a long day, that would be ugly. Uh, and then I have a kitty butthole. Oh, and then this blue sphere. I don't actually think this is ugly. This is actually my favorite planet, but I think its name is ugly. You guessed it. It's Uranus or pronounced by many Uranus. Uh, then I have an ugly face that Bart Simpson is making and I've turned him into some weird squid-like thing. A brain. I have always found brains to be icky. Um, I don't like looking at real brains. And on a personal note, I don't like my brain. My brain is riddled with mental illness and I get migraines now. So yeah, ugly. I have mentioned before slime. I have slime in here because slime is ugly. I have never been able to get slime to form. And so, yeah, ugly. Then I have my lappy with a little sad face. And there's some sort of text speak explanation that I never understand. So I've written down what it means, like what it says to me, which is something's wrong, but we're not gonna tell you what. That's ugly. That blue screen of death. Then, I have a bunch of other words. Bullies are ugly. Abuse is ugly. Hate is ugly. Intolerance. Stigma. Migraines. All ugly. And then these things here, a little trifecta of ugly. 
this little beer bottle, which is actually a woman's form behind it. This is the objectification and sexualization of women, and that's ugly. These boobs with a censored bar over it, that is the censorship of women, that is ugly. This is a period pad, menstrual pad, whatever you want to call it. That blue liquid, which has nothing to do with anything that comes out of the human body and is inaccurate in its representation, that is ugly. I hate the fact that we can't talk about actual women's stuff. It has to be prettified. I found that quite therapeutic, drawing all this out. Well, there you have it. All of the prompts from my Wreck This Journal that ended up in a journal page with some sort of meaning. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of an insight into who I am, uh, where I've been. I hope that um, this maybe inspired you to start your own creative journal. I hope that, if nothing else, you found this possibly entertaining? Maybe? A little bit? <laughs> and I hope you'll stick around to see the rest of the series. So if you like this video, please give it a like. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure to do that, especially if you want to see the rest of the series. And also, click that little bell icon so that you will get notified when the other videos in this series are released. There will be more videos and I hope to see you um, in those videos, theoretically speaking, because I can't literally see you. But you'll be able to see me. Does any of this make sense? Oh my goodness. Until the next video, stay fabulous, lovelies. I'll see you later. Bye!